it's definitely a time and place for Muslims to mind our own business and to keep to ourselves, maintain our spiritual and religious practices and not feel like we have to explain ourselves to anyone. And also, I firmly believe that Muslims living in the West, especially if you are a child of immigrant, a grandchild of immigrants, I have one immigrant parent, that we have the privilege of being citizens in the country that we currently live in. We speak with the accent of the people who are non-Muslim in the area. We have privilege compared to our immigrant parents or grandparents where we should be able to take up more space in non-Muslim settings and not in a way of asking the non-Muslims for their comfort or their allowing us to take up space in predominantly non-Muslim spaces, but as our right as members of that society. This is not a privilege that existed for our immigrant parents and grandparents because they had to literally just survive all of the harassment and microaggressions and hate crimes and all of the things that they had to face as people with accents, as people who were not citizens of the country they were living and working in, who were facing Islamophobia and xenophobia and just all of the things that they had to deal with, the cultural shock that they had to deal with. This is the next step for Muslims in the United States and in the West is for the children who grew up in these environments to take our place amongst the other groups that also deserve to have space and to be recognized with dignity and respect, we also have a place for our community to step outside of our own internal communities and step into the public square and take up space unapologetically.